dope, dope, dope. Chilling with my family today. <laughs> Channeling some epic energy. Um, I'm totally like awkward AF because like, yeah, like I'm on edge, you know, and I believe in co-creation or Jedi mind tricks or just being a Jedi. Okay. Shout out to Jedi mind tricks and mini paths and immortal technique and all these people that have just been like shedding light on me since I was a kid, like letting us know like what the heck's going on, Nas, Ashanti, like all the things we can see hidden behind the scenes, okay, like excuse me, like shining my childlike innocence, who I'm shining with and hanging out with right now is kind of helping me project that hologram of the self so that you can virtually see and be with me in this way since you personally choose to not be in my community and to live where I live and to be with me. You understand? A lot of us are choosing to not like be with each other and like God has broken us all up in this very unique way. And if you can see where your enemy is and where like you're fighting with somebody, like that's literally how you are with your neighbor and how like you can't be friends, you can't make love, you can't understand, like there's no connection, there's no touch. Like you're so far removed from each other's cellular memory and bodies instead of seeing that we are all our family in this human experience that we all are having no matter what kind of star seed or indigo child or crystal child or hippie whatever you want to call yourself right okay excuse the labels and the identities you can just feel and be and know that you are masculine and feminine within yourself and that it took those combination of cells of your father your mother and then yourself that holy trinity the story of the sun and Horus and Isis. I mean, there, there's so many parallel realities of the same exact story. There's so many people that are, quote, waking up right now and that are becoming woke. Please understand that this is the story of allegory in a cave. This has been going on for generations. His story, his story will repeat. Those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it, okay? There is a great attempt to erase history and tear down monuments and to burn books. Kindle means burning of the books, right? Kindle, the Kindle of the fire. We are all being conditioned and controlled and told right now that we're not allowed to go outside and that the world is dangerous. Did you know that there are so many people with a disease called HIV AIDS? Are you aware of all the other autoimmune diseases? Are you aware of how cell memory transfers as you touch people? Are you aware of MRSA? like flesh eating staph infection bacteria that lives inside the nose that one in three people are carriers of this disease and bacteria the same is identical for herpes identical for these ulcers that form on your genitals and in your mouth and yeah people are sharing drinks and shaking hands and imagine how many people go to the bathroom and don't wash their hands okay i'll even joke how like i totally pee so many times and just don't wash my hands okay like, I've done it. And there's a movie, right? Like, uh, for those of you that are total aquaphiles like me, you totally know about um, The Shape of Water. And so you might remember the scene where he says, like, there are those who wash their hands before they go to the bathroom, and there are those who wash their hands after. But never does a man do both. <laughs> I was laughing hysterically at that. However, like, I do not believe, like, in all of this germophobia, okay? Because I think back to like Renaissance times and just, just like washing our clothes and like connected to the sun. Like I understand that like we are kind of destroying the planet. And so this is kind of like mother earth fighting back. And we know scientifically that mushrooms will eat plastic. So like we can see where like man is trying to eat and devour and change everything, you know? And like, I don't know if you know, but like a lot of people are like eating on each other basically. And I don't just mean HEK 293, I mean like, people are eating on like they're feasting on other people's energy and like they're codependent on other people's energy to be happy or to vibe off of their vibe or to vibe off of controlling their vibe and, and using the other person to build their kind of world instead of letting the other person have their imagination that's something that i imagine happens with like the illuminati freemason formation because we all have the power of suggestion now and when you have the power of suggesting constantly in your mind, constantly in your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're looking at in your phone or on your television, that this is the power of suggestion in your mind at all times. And therefore, your imagination has no free time to imagine things. Same thing if you're conditioning and programming your mind with the voices of other people, either through books, podcasts, or like listening to them. You know what I mean? Like, it's important for you to find your own voice and most of all to share your own voice and it's not so much for other people to hear like you are you're given these tools for you to communicate with God with the God source with the infinite and the infinite is inside every single living and non-living thing 
Like, man has put its effort, its molecules have built things. I understand it can be very difficult to, like, translate this image to you at this time when I'm not, like, writing it down so I can transmit in a more grounded, childlike way that you all can receive. However, again, this is why I usually push the agenda of working with me privately. I understand not everybody has money. However, like, please understand that, like, at the current time, our whole world is run by one form of currency. And this currency that we're switching to now is going to be completely current <laughs> and controlled. Everything about money is connected to water, like underwater in debt, a loan shark, a deposit slip, okay? It's Babel. There's a great teacher who teaches more on this. His name is Michael Tazarion. T-S-A-R-I-O-N. Michael Tazarion is quite magical. All I'm saying is we're taking for granted what's really valuable and I believe that coming together and being in nature and growing the grass and I think there's a lot of other things. I don't think Agenda 21 has to happen. I think there's many other things that can occur before like we allow total takeover and that's also another final message I would state dude like if you are allowing there to be a formed government not just a government the word government mente mente meant governmente mente mind govern control mind control okay if you believe in one person creating a hive or it's like some other people like telling you like how we should all live and be together like you know and then if you allow what they tell you right the the programming or the what is that called propaganda from Edward Bernays the power suggestion that's it power suggestion you allow that like instead of like co-creating and see how we can like just by us talking as a community like how can we all get along oh can you buy the wi-fi and then we share the wi-fi and then you grow the potatoes and then oh I'll take care of this and then like we'll meet once a week or whatever and we'll trade or you know like it's it's about like being ourselves and being selves and like living and breathing instead of like being so toxic and controlling and manipulative and taking for granted like take a look at your nature like how many things do you know that you can eat it's like what what are you like brave enough to go try and see if it tastes good and like how conditioned is your tongue by HEK 293 and Doritos and all these other major corporations that use these natural vegan flavorings also known as human embryonic kidney cells that stimulate the tongue and create an electric magnetic pulse that makes you crave and addicted to food more I mean, how genius. It's completely genius using computers and algorithms and technology and laboratories and doing this thing. However, man is like playing God. Man is 666, six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. Okay? Carbon. Carbon. Carbon is 666. Carbon. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. I got things to do. I'm headed to the springs. We're going to have a good time. And... There's going to be people that are going to try to change my mind. However, I believe the earth is beautiful. I don't believe in Agenda 21 and creating human capital and human containment areas where nature runs wild everywhere else and that we are forced into the small populations. As much as I love the tigers and everything else out in there and that I believe that everything should exist, I believe in like other aspects of being able to maintain society. And I you would just believe this to be true just for a moment. I believe that you could create a whole new earth, a new world, a new way of seeing and being with your neighbors. And it starts with saying, hey, who are you? How are you doing? How can I help you? What's going on? You know, and being real. Instead of saying, I'm fine, I'm okay, nothing. I'm not thinking about anything. You know, all this like shadow, subconscious, you know, be whole, shadow, full. More later. Drive a go on. Namaste. Pay it forward. Peace. Shanti Om.